But you know what? It's a conversation that we as the church need to have because our specialty is reconciliation. You know, we've watched suicides happening in Saskatchewan. It really is one of the most Mm -hmm. heartbreaking acts a person can commit, but it's even more devastating when that victim is a child. Indigenous communities across this nation have been facing states of emergency due to outbreaks of youth suicide. And in October, Saskatchewan was hit hard Mm. with six Indigenous girls between the ages of 10 and 14 taking their own lives. Joining us now by phone is Pastor Jonathan Bounds, who leads a church in one of the affected communities, Loon Lake. Thank you so much for joining us, Pastor Jonathan. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Well, you know, you're on the front lines of this battle. What do you see happening in your communities? Mm. Well, often these things come in waves. Um, It seems to be an epidemic of suicides, typically amongst males most of the time. And this time it's been young girls. And so um, what we see is a natural reaction, uh, a chain reaction of, you know, a close friend, a cousin commits suicide. You're that much more likely uh, to fall into that trap yourself. But also there's a strong spiritual element where we just really believe there's an attack, a spiritual attack on this generation. And so um, there's a sustained effort to turn that around, to stop the cycle and to break this. Yeah, well, you had a chance to go into the school on Friday where the young girl uh, had taken her life, that school that she was from. Tell us about, like, what was the atmosphere like and, and what happened there? Well, it was an interesting uh, situation. We were so thankful that God opened a door. Mm. And we see this over and over again. When these things happen, um, the communities open up because they're desperate for a solution and nothing has been working. Um, so the door opened for us to go into the school, and the door was wide open. They said, talk about anything. Talk about God. Talk about Jesus. We just need help. Uh, so when we went into that school, we were able to talk about some natural, uh, practical things, but also to talk about the hope that we have. Uh, and then later that evening, uh, many of those kids came back to the school, and we were able to minister to them one-on-one. Mm. Um, but most of them, so many of them, uh, we're still going through these things. One girl had just attempted suicide the night before. Uh, another girl there, her sister, was on her way back from the hospital, just, just attempted suicide. So this was something that was heavy on all of them. Mm-hmm. And um, 17 of those kids uh, decided to give their lives to Jesus. Oh, wow. Or um, we were able to minister wow. to in a, in a real way. So you know, we feel that there was an impact, but it's going to be um, more than just that. We're going to we're going to sustain uh, this this uh, outreach and and keep working at it. Well, you know, we're so glad, Jonathan, that you are there, that you are there to minister. And honestly, I believe what's happening with Indigenous communities across Canada is a call for the church to wake up mm. and do what we do best, because we know it's the love of God that can heal our hearts, the pain of sexual abuse and what so many of these kids have been through, racism. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we feel helpless. I think the heart is there, but we don't know what to do. What can we do as followers of Jesus? Well, obviously, as believers, uh, we know that there's such power in prayer. I think every community is so different. Uh, There's not one solution that that applies to everything, but prayer can change every single uh, community in every single situation. I think it's also important that we just stay aware. Like you said, it's easy to uh, uh, grow numb. It's easy to turn off and disconnect. We need to stay aware and realize this is part of Canada. This is part of the body of Christ. There's many of our uh, brothers and sisters that live in these communities, and I think we should keep them in prayer and support them as much as we can, because God's really raising up indigenous ministers that are making a difference, or believers on the ground. Um, and if we keep them in our hearts and, and keep them in our prayers and, and support them in any way we can, I think they're making a real difference, and uh, we can make an impact in this area. Well, Jonathan, thank you for what you're doing. We're going to keep praying for you. And, you know, Crossroads Relief and Development, we fund much of this work as well. If you want to give, please do that. And just keep Jonathan in in your prayers. Jonathan, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.